Okay, so lots of changes to my airport today. A couple of the, the, the big changes. Uh, first and foremost, I finally got around to printing out some panoramic pictures for background shots, which doesn't look very impressive in the video, but when you're taking still shots, it adds a ton of realism to the pictures over just seeing the, the wall and the curtains on the background. So uh, if, you want, if you're interested at all in seeing any of those still pictures, you can check out my Facebook group, which is 1 to 200 airport makers. Uh, so 1 colon 200 for the front of that. Go ahead and answer the questions and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you come in and you can see all the, the pictures I post from the airport. Kind of on a weekly basis. The only other change I made to this airport update is I took out the sensor connecting terminal here and just replaced it with some blast vents which opens up a little more space makes it look a little more realistic uh, proportionally for the aircraft taxiing around in there. Otherwise, it's the same airport as the last video. The only other big change, I've got a bunch of new jetways, which were long overdue, but I finally got them. I've got a couple of gray ones, a couple of white ones. Uh, newly designed, kind of beta version of these uh, jetways. I'll have to compare them uh, right here since we're already looking at them. So here on this Delta 717 is the old version, which is still a really nice 3D printed jetway. This is just the two uh, section telescoping jetway with a logo holder on it and then next to that is one of the new ones big changes it's got three telescoping sections it's got slightly redesigned lifts take back to this one the lifts are kind of enclosed and then this one's kind of more open it has the, the fencing on the top it has a redesigned end piece you compare it to this one and then it has the logo holder that sits on top. Those are the big changes on the new jetway, so they're really nice. And that's what's on this 757-200. Very high quality awnings that come out to the aircraft, almost completely takes them up. All right, next to that, another new jetway on a 737-700. Empty one, and then a couple of the old jetways. Here's one on a CRJ 700, and here's one on an E170. You can kind of see what it looks like. If I zoom in and try to frame it here, of what my shots kind of look like uh, when I can frame the walls out of the shot. This really adds some neat effects to it. Here's my custom Air Canada Rouge A319. And then two more international gates. This one's housing a British Airways 777-200. This is one of the old Mozart jet bridges that I have still. Getting loaded up with cargo on this side. And then my last international gate is an Mexico 737-800. All right, the other major addition I have for new GSC, you'll see it on the Southwest gate. This is a 737-800 with scimitar winglets. Here's my standard GSC that I had before, the normal baggage carts, but just painted up in the Southwest colors. But here's some of the new ones, the more realistic ones based on what Southwest uses. There are these covered kind of half carts. Um, this one right here is the uncovered version with the cargo that he's loading up. And then the, uh, the tarps over the top of the other ones, which is just a 3D piece of plastic, but it makes it look really cool. Really, uh, really came out nice. And there's my only Southwest gate today. A couple American gates. Here's a new model I don't think I've had in a video before. A JC Wings E145 in the... Uh, the Susan B. Komen Race for the Cure livery. Next to a new one, E145. Here's one of my custom, and it's only custom in the sense that I changed the US Airways titles to American. 
A319. All right, getting into my United Gates. This is a 737-700. Used to be a Continental lot, uh, livery that I've changed to United. And I've also swapped out some wings with one of my Scimitar 737s. So this is not an aircraft that you can currently find, but it's a 700 version with the Scimitars in United old livery colors. All right, next to that's one of my new models in the new uh, design that United just come out with. This is an E-175 with the spatula winglets. And then one of their other Gemini 200 models, the uh, CRJ-700. Let's see if I can get a shot of what it looks like. Put the background kind of in it. All right, and then just bit and push back is another one of my new models. This is the in-flight 200 version. I have a Gemini one as well, and here's the in-flight one, getting pushed back. And the last gate over here on this side is a Spirit A320 Neo with a bunch of yellow GSC over on that side as well. All right, getting into my other terminal. It's mostly Alaska with the exception of one. And that one exception is right here. It's a Frontier E190. This is also a custom build from yours truly. And then nothing but Alaska from here on out. Here's a SkyWest E175 next to a Horizon Q400. Look at all that Eskimo. You can see how the backgrounds just add so much effect to the video. It's, like, it's crazy how much cooler the pictures come out. As nerdy as that is. All right, I'm getting into my Alaska mainline over here on this side. I got an next Virgin America A320. An old original color 737-700. A new livery one next to that, and then a 900ER, which we'll get to here in a second. All right, let's take a closer look, and then I'll wrap up the video. So here we go. These are my new jetways as well. These are the white ones. Three section telescoping jetways with the logo holders. The fences on top, the gate numbers, and then the new updated awnings. Really, really cool jetways. Probably the best I've seen. And here's the 900ER. This is one of my older uh, versions of the Tiny Airport jetway. Still really, really cool though. There's the whole airport. 